This is a CADS instructional video. This video will cover CL, FAQ, and different parameters that you can change on your scale. In order to access this menu to change your parameters, you will need to access the calibration switch, and changing any parameters may affect your NTEP status. If you have any questions about NTEP, please reach out to your local dealer for help. Okay, this part of the video we will be covering the UN versus USA issue that some people have with their scales when they install. You can see here we have two options here. Use decimal and use ounce. If you, if you see both of these options and you're okay, if you're in the US, you installed your software correctly. For example here, if you're in the USA and you only see one option, that means that you installed the software incorrectly with the UN status as your region. If this is the case and you see this screen just like this, you will have to uninstall CL Works Pro and reinstall. Run through that real quick just to show you. Go to Add and Remove. Find CL Works Pro and uninstall it. Select Remove to completely remove the software. Yes. If you get this error message, it means that your database is being used, which means that you simply just left the software running when you tried to uninstall it, which I did intentionally, so you could see that error code. Just make sure that you exit out of Sealworks Pro before you try to uninstall it. Completely remove. Okay, now you will need to reinstall the software. Okay, in this part of the video, we will be covering the pre-pack mode and what it does. This mode is often used when you have several items that you want to print out at the same time. Usually they're non-weight items, something that you want a label to keep printing out. And you can see there, um, without pre-pack on, it only printed one label, and then the PLU disappeared. If you want this to stay, you need to use the pre-pack mode. We'll see once that is selected and on, you can see it's on by the indicator. Now your PLU will stay up there on the screen and you can print as many tickets with that same PLU. For returning to your normal way mode, you do want to make sure you unselect pre-pack and clear and you are back to normal. This part of the video will cover adding a store name and switching between them. Use menu 1410 to add your different store names. Once you've added your store information, you can leave this menu menu 1830. This will allow you to switch between your saved information for your store numbers. So we have CAS NJ and CAS CA. Show you what they look like on the label first. See, we only entered the store name and the phone number, so that's what appears on our label. Now, in order to switch that, we'll recall menu 1830. Select your store number, and then save. Now, we will call up the same PLU and look at our label. You will notice that CAS and J is still there. 
that's okay. That usually the first label will not switch over. So we will try another label, and you can see CASCA is now the active store name. Want to remember to save any changes you make to your store before leaving that menu tree. Okay, this part of the video will cover quickly how to change your date format. This is done through the parameters menu, so you will need access to your Cal switch. I'll show on the screen how to do that. If you have questions, reach out to your local dealer. Once in the parameter menu, it is parameter function code 530. That will bring up your date format. The standard US format is one. If you wanted to change that, you will select three. Show these month, date, year. This will change it to date, month, year. You can see in the top right, our changes were saved. This part of the video will cover TCP IP settings and making sure that they are on, as well as your wireless bridge. You will need access again to your parameter setting menu. Once there, it is function code 900. You want this on. Without it on, you will not have access to your IP menu. So if you're stuck out of that for some reason, this got turned off. I just want to make sure that this is on. To illustrate this, we are going to turn ours off and save it. As our scale counts down, we will travel to our network information menu. Selecting communication. Normally here, this is where you would select your IP. See, I'm pressing the button, nothing's coming up. So if this is if this is a case with your scale, you're going to need to use that parameter 900. If your scale does have this option, but you cannot enter any network or SSID settings for your wireless, or you're having connection issues, on the screen you will see parameter 731 that covers connecting to your wireless bridge. So parameter function code 731 enable your wireless bridge. And here we are going to make sure that our IP address information is selected to yes again. Make sure to save. everything saved correctly, you will once again be able to access the IP information. Most scales will have the IP and the wireless bridge enabled by default, but if for some reason your scale isn't working correctly, these are the things you want to check. Now we'll select three for IP. We can see our IP information once again. Okay, now we will cover the pound kg settings and how to switch between them. A lot of the time for NTAP purposes, which is the legal for trade aspect of your scale, in order to abide by that, this function will be disabled. If you are just testing your scale or you're an end user that does not need to abide by NTAP regulations, you can use parameter 536 to enable the pound kg conversion switch. So they follow along with what I'm doing here on 536 and 537. And you will notice up here on the screen that the pound kg now allows you to switch between those functions. If you have any questions about NTAP or Legal for Trade, please reach out to your local DR. Okay, in this last part of the video, we will quick cover some useful parameters that will be helpful to most end users. will need access to your parameter setting menu 
through the calibration switch. Beat 34 will enable a clerk password. Useful if you want some extra security on a specific scale. It's covered before, menu 900 covers TCP IP. If you want that enabled, it will give you access to your IP information. Menu 570 will allow non-weight sales with weight on the tray. So if you want weight on the tray while you're using a non-weight sale, this option will allow you to do that. Five seven four will allow you to print tickets with zero. If you need this for your POS system for a buy one get one free, if you want something stickered at a zero price, you will need that parameter enabled. That covers the common parameters. For any questions about advanced parameter settings, please reach out to your local dealer or visit our website at cas-usa.com. Thank you for watching this video.